Dream Children. A Reverie by Charles Lamb is a reflective essay written in the form of a personal narrative. Lamb begins by recounting how his imaginary children, John and Alice, eagerly listen to him as he tells them stories about his own childhood and his beloved relatives. The essay is framed as a reverie, a daydream, blurring the line between reality and imagination. Lamb's gentle, conversational tone establishes an intimate atmosphere, drawing the reader into his thoughts and emotions. Recollections of Lamb's childhood. Lamb begins to narrate stories from his own childhood, sharing fond memories of his upbringing at Blakesware, his grandmother's grand estate. He recalls the beauty of the place and its surroundings, painting a nostalgic picture of the home and its comforting influence on him. The presence of his grandmother, Mrs. Field, looms large in his memories. Lamb remembers her as a kind, loving, and pious woman who was respected by everyone in the household and the wider community. Mrs. Field, a towering figure, Lamb's depiction of his grandmother, Mrs. Field, is filled with admiration. He recalls how she lived alone in the grand house after her husband's death, taking care of the estate with great diligence. She was a devout woman, known for her strength of character and her generosity. Lamb also recounts how she had a deep reverence for the old furniture and the historical relics within the house, particularly a large family portrait gallery. Through his stories, Lamb reveals the depth of his emotional connection to his grandmother and the sense of loss he feels in her absence. The passing of Mrs. Field. Lamb recounts his sorrow over his grandmother's death. He remembers how she bore her illness with patience and fortitude, and how deeply her loss affected him. Lamb reveals the extent of his attachment to her and how her memory continues to haunt him. The essay takes on a more melancholic tone as Lamb reflects on the inevitability of death and the fleeting nature of life. Mrs. Field's passing leaves a void, and Lamb acknowledges that the house at Blakesware never felt the same without her. The story of Lamb's brother, John, shifting his focus, Lamb begins to talk about his older brother, John, whom he admired deeply. He describes John as handsome, intelligent, and full of energy, contrasting his own shy and withdrawn personality with his brother's charisma. Lamb shares how John was their mother's favorite, and how he was proud of his brother's talents. The close bond they shared is evident in Lamb's reflections, though he also subtly hints at the feelings of inadequacy he harbored in comparison to his brother's more outgoing nature. The death of John and the pain of loss. Lamb's tone becomes even more somber as he recalls his brother John's death. He speaks of the deep grief he felt after losing his brother at a young age. John's death was a devastating blow, and Lamb reflects on the sense of loneliness and isolation that followed. The narrative captures the poignancy of sibling loss, and Lamb's tender recounting of his brother's virtues conveys the emotional depth of his mourning. The essay shifts from a nostalgic recollection of family life to a meditation on loss and the impermanence of human relationships. Imagining the lives of his children, as Lamb recounts these memories to his imaginary children, John and Alice, he subtly hints at his own childlessness and the longing he feels for a family of his own. He imagines the lives of these dream children, portraying them as innocent and attentive listeners who are eager to hear more about their father's past. The imagined presence of the children serves as a way for Lamb to explore his unfulfilled desires for fatherhood and familial connection, adding another layer of melancholy to the essay. The children's curiosity about Lamb's lost love. In a poignant moment, Lamb's imaginary daughter, Alice, asks him about a woman he loved in his youth. This prompts Lamb to recall his unrequited love for Anne Simmons, a woman he was deeply attached to but could never marry. He recounts how Anne married another man, leaving Lamb with a sense of heartbreak and longing. This unfulfilled love is another source of sorrow for Lamb, and his reflection on it adds to the theme of unattainable desires and the emotional complexity of his life. The Revelation of the Dream as Lamb continues his reverie, there is a sudden shift in tone. 
His children, John and Alice, slowly reveal that they are not real but merely figments of his imagination. The realization that his children are nothing more than a dream shatters the illusion Lamb has been weaving throughout the essay. The children's disappearance underscores Lamb's loneliness and the ephemeral nature of the daydream he has been indulging in. This moment of revelation is bittersweet, as it brings an end to the tender interaction between Lamb and his dream children. Acceptance of Solitude The essay concludes with Lamb awakening from his reverie and confronting the reality of his life. He is childless, alone, and left with only the memories of his lost loved ones. However, rather than falling into despair, Lamb seems to find a sense of acceptance in his solitude. The essay closes on a reflective note, with Lamb acknowledging the beauty and pain of memory. Dream children ultimately becomes a meditation on love, loss, and the way our dreams and reveries help us cope with the emotional complexities of life.